All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're looking at the distributive property, and here we got our helper, Little Miss Piper. Our objective today is that we will all be able to accurately use the distributive property to write equivalent algebraic expressions. And our emphasis is on sixth grade standards for computation standard six and algebra and functions standard two. Moving on, understand the distributive property. First of all, we need to understand a little bit about it. So you probably already learned about order of operations and using PEMDAS, okay? And PEMDAS, remember, it's, it's the order in which we solve a problem. So first, the P stands for parentheses. In this case, we would simplify 90 plus 8 to get 98. Then we would multiply and divide since there are no exponents. In this case, 4 times 98 is 392 to get our answer. And if there was any addition and subtraction, that would be the last operation that we did. But the distributive property is another way to solve the same problem correctly. And I'm sure some of you are asking, well, well why do we have the distributive property? What we're actually doing is distributing multiplication of the 4 to both terms inside the parentheses. And one reason is because it makes the mental math a little bit easier. I can do 4 times 90 in my head and get 360, and 4 times 8 is 32, and then combine the two. So it really makes mental math, but our emphasis today is learning why we need the distributive property for algebraic expressions. This just proves that the distributive property will still give me the correct answer. So let's move on. Why is the distributive property important? Well, in algebra, we cannot always follow our order of operations, PEMDAS. Therefore, we have to use the properties of math to simplify algebraic expressions. And the property we're going to focus on is the distributive property. Notice here in the parentheses, we have 3x minus 4. Well, PEMDAS says do parentheses first, but in this case, these are not like terms. If you don't know what like terms are, you might check out my other video over combining like terms. Since we cannot combine these, we have to use the distributive property to help simplify this expression. So we rewrite the problem and we distribute multiplication of 5 to both terms inside the parentheses. Now I can actually simplify the expression. I solve 5 times 3x and 5 times 4. And then finally, I can combine my like terms, 3x plus 15x. Remember, you're just combining the coefficients. And we get 18x minus 20. And this is simplest form. We couldn't do that without the distributive property. Now, we're going to take a little opportunity to practice. And here we got our little Miss Piper girl again. Let's practice using the distributive property. We'll do the first one together, and then you can try and distribute multiplication to simplify the other expressions. First, we draw the arrows, and I really strongly encourage you to draw these arrows if you don't do that, um, especially if you're first learning the distributive property, because it helps us to see that we are distributing multiplication by 6 to the first term. The operation symbol stays the same, and the second term. So we have 6 times 2x, which is 12x, plus 6 times 8, which is 48. And that is our simplified expression. We can't simplify it anymore because 12x is a variable term and 48 is a constant. So we cannot combine them because they are not like terms. Go ahead and try to solve these other three problems and then see how you did. All right, let's see how you did. First of all, did you draw the arrows? Again, I would encourage you to draw those arrows. We should have distributed multiplication by 4 to both terms in the parentheses. 4 times 7 is 28, plus 4 times 8 is 30. 
2, and then we've got our variable x. Let's check out the next one. Once again, I want to draw those arrows really to, to show you that we are distributing 12, multiplication by 12, to both terms inside the parentheses. And now I'm going to rewrite it, 12 times 4. Notice the minus sign this time stays the same. The operation symbol stays the same. And 12 times 5x. We get 48 minus 60x. And our final one... Again, draw those arrows, distribute the multiplication. We get 9 times 6 minus 9 times 7x. And 9 times 6 is 54. And 9 times 7x gives us 63x. All right. Let's move on. You can also use substitution to make sure the expressions are equivalent. So we're just going to use substitution to check one of those original problems that we had. We said 6 times the sum of 2x and 8 was equal to 12x plus 48. If we substitute, that means we're going to replace the variable with a value and then solve on both sides, and those expressions should be equal in the end. When we're substituting, one thing I recommend is avoid substituting the values 0 and 1. So when I substitute, I'm going to use x equals 2. It's an easy value. I'm coming up with it. I could use any value I want, but if I use like 3.75, it's going to make this problem very challenging. I want to use something simple, but again, avoid 0 and 1 because sometimes they can make an expression look like it's equivalent to another expression when it actually isn't. So I'm going to substitute the 2, and I'm just going to replace the x with 2 here, and then solve the whole problem. So here we go. Next I'm going to follow PEMDAS. Multiply 2 times 2 is 4. I'm going to solve what's in the parentheses, 4 plus 8 is 12, and 6 times 12 is 72. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Replace the variable with 2. 12 times 2 is 24, and 24 plus 48 is 72. Notice we got the same value. That tells me that this expression is equivalent to this expression. And it also shows me that my simplified version was equal to the original expression. Moving on, use your math properties to simplify these algebraic expressions. Circle the ones that are equivalent to 12x plus 4. Go ahead and solve each of the problems, and then we'll check and see how you did. There's Piper again. Whoa, her hair almost fell off. All right, let's see how you did. First, we have to distribute multiplication here. When we distribute multiplication... 2x times 3 plus 2x times 2 plus 7x. 2x times 3 is 6x. 2x times 2 is 4x. And we get 7x here. Now all we have to do is add our coefficient. 7 plus 6 plus 4 equals 17x when I simplify this. Notice that that does not equal 12x plus 4. So this is not equivalent. When we distribute multiplication here, we get 2 times 2 is equal to 4. And 2 times 6x is equal to 12x. If we use our commutative property, which allows us to change the order without changing the value for this addition problem, we get 12x plus 4. So that one is correct, and we're going to circle it. Circle the ones that are equivalent. The next one, I'm going to erase some of my previous work so that I can solve this next problem or simplify, I should say. Distribute 
multiplication to both terms in the parentheses. 4x times 3x. 4 times 3 is 12, but we have x times x, which would actually be x to the second power. And 4x times 1 equals 4x. So this one is not equivalent because we got 12x to the second power plus 4x. I'm going to cross that one out. Our next problem, again, I'm going to erase some of this so I have some room to work here. And we're going to distribute multiplication. 4 times 3x. 4 times 3 is 12, so 4 times 3x is 12x. And 4 times 1 is 4. And sure enough, we got the correct answer again, or the equivalent expression. On my last two... I have like terms here and here, 6x plus 6x. I'm just going to add the coefficients, 6 plus 6, to get 12x. And then we have a constant, 7 minus 3. And 7 minus 3 is equal to 4. So it would be 12x plus 4. And once again, we got an equivalent expression. And on this last one, I'm just going to reorder these numbers and rewrite them using my commutative property so I can combine or group my like terms together. 1 plus 3 does give me 4, so that's the constant I'm looking for. Now I need to see if I get 12x. 8x minus 4x actually equals 4x. Remember, we're just subtracting the coefficients here. So the equivalent expressions are this one, this one, and this one. I hope that helped you out. See ya. And thanks to Little Piper for helping us out too. Later.